Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. If you tuned in to see some crazy ice riding on jet skis, you're in luck because I definitely have some of that for you. If you haven't seen the previous two videos, you might want to go check them out because they're kind of leading up to this. If you only watch this video, it will still make sense, it will still be entertaining, but why not go watch the other ones? If you're, if you're new to my channel, welcome! Please consider subscribing and clicking the notifications bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Also, you may want to go check out some of my older jet ski videos. I have plenty of amusing content. I have lots of riding videos on the X2 and also a few other jet skis. I also have lots of build videos on the X2 where I've been powder coating, milling, making custom parts, rebuilding the engine, doing fiberglass work, and all sorts of other fun stuff. So if that seems like something you might be interested in, please consider subscribing. YouTube, it looks like this is going to be your last ride of the season. And if it's not obvious why, well, I don't know what to tell you. Here to see that. 
Look how far I slid. <laughs> I stopped here. I came on all the way down here. <laughs> so this thing will walk it out. One, two, three. Seven, thirty, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Eh? <laughs> uh. All right. Ah. 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 Ah
to be ice on purpose, but I didn't know how thick it was. It's like an inch and a quarter thick. I slid like 60 feet at least across it, and then I couldn't I couldn't break through, so I couldn't get back. <laughs> I had to like push it along, and I kept slipping. And I'm gonna go rip some circles and then come in.
That is the end. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, Wait till sundown. Those people must have thought we were nuts. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> My toes are cold and my face is cold that's exposed. But it's crazy what some equipment can do. Yeah. Yeah, if I had five mil gloves, yeah. five mil booty, I'd be fine. Yeah. And even that being said, I'm not not freezing to death. It's just a little bit uncomfortable. I've been colder with sneakers on. Yeah. Ah. As I said in my last update video, this was planned to be the last ride of the season, and that is probably smart considering the ice that we literally ran into. It was a lot of fun, it was quite interesting, probably not the smartest thing that we've ever done, but it was a really good test of our equipment. I did not have any issues except for my toes being a little bit cold, but uh, it's pretty amazing what a good wetsuit can do, gloves and a hood. BJ didn't have heated handlebars, so his fingers got cold. He also has thinner neoprene gloves, but uh, yeah, all in all, pretty good. I definitely wouldn't recommend that you go out and try this. Some of the stuff that I did was kind of dangerous and reckless, but again, I was completely warm even when I was submerged in water. The only thing that was really wet was my feet and any exposed skin on my face. My hands did get wet as well, but I have five mil uh, neoprene gloves and they stayed quite warm. BJ and I are both planning on uh, tearing our jet skis apart and doing some modifications. BJ is planning on swapping the 750 from his SXI into the X2 and uh, putting the 650 in the SXI. I have a secret project in the works and uh, you'll probably find out about that pretty soon. We may also have a engine rebuild on a snowmobile coming up and if that happens we will go out and test it probably on the lake at Pine Coulee because it's a nice uh, open spot and familiar and why not? I thought that last shot was pretty cool in slow motion where you could see the crack spreading out in front of me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video half as much as I did. I said in my last video at the end that this would be the last ride of the year. This is the last footage from this day, so you won't see any more of that. But uh, BJ has pointed out to me that it is actually warming up a little bit in the next few weeks, so it's going to stay around the temperature that it was when we were out that day. So we might actually get back out in the next few days, I can't say for sure. I'm not sure that I actually put enough hours on the engine to break it in properly, but I feel pretty good about it. I'm happy that I get out for a ride, and I'm happy that BJ got out for one last ride as well. If we don't get out for the rest of this season, I won't be too upset about it. That will just mean that I will start tearing into the X2 and start making some changes. As some of my regular viewers may have noticed, I've been having a little bit of difficulty deep water boarding on the X2, and I finally figured out what the reason is. It's not because I forgot how to ride, it's not because of a lack of dexterity in the wetsuit or because my gloves are too thick or my core temperature is dropping or even that I'm just getting really tired. What it actually is is because of the extra buoyancy of the wetsuit. So normally when you board an X2, you come up behind it, you push it down as much as you can into the water, slide yourself forward, grab the handlebars and off you go. The problem is with the extra buoyancy of the wetsuit is that I'm already up higher in the water when I go to push down on the back of the jet ski, instead of it going down into the water and having a lower center of gravity, I come up out of the water and have a higher center of gravity, and the jet ski also has a higher center of gravity. I'm not exactly sure what my next video is going to be. We might actually get out and do some riding because it is going to warm up to 8 or 10 degrees Celsius. 
I might also pull the head off of the X2 and check it out. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you will know that I milled the head recently. I put an O-ring groove in there. I'm running a copper O-ring. And so I would like to take it apart, check to see how it's breaking in, see if I have any leakage issues, that sort of thing. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.